Okay, I'm back. I'm Salim Khan, studying fifth standard, and today we have the mechanics for J main and advanced basic mathematics subjective questions. Question number fifth. Okay, the fifth, sixth, and seventh and eighth questions. As we know, the question number fifth is find the value of. Okay, E we have tan 330 degree, F cos minus 60 degree letter G sine minus 150 degree and H cos minus 120 degree so all those four parts will solve in this video so let us begin by tan 330 degree so here our solution will start so first we'll solve E that is tan 330 degree Okay, as I told you whenever we have to solve such kind of problem we write them in terms of 180 degree but this time will not write in terms of 180 degree. Let me inform you. Okay, just like we can see it is nearly, it is nearly about uh, 360 degree if we round off uh, it to it. So we can get 360 degree. So we'll try to write it first in 360 degree. Okay, so it can be written as tan 360 degree. Okay, now minus which number will add in this so that will get 330 degree that is minus 30 degree. So, okay, so plus, okay, plus minus 30 degree that can be written as minus 30 degree. What we have tan 330 degree equals to tan, okay, bracket 360 degree minus 30 degree and bracket close. Now tan 360 degree value we know. Okay, now it will try to evaluate it. So what we are getting equals to tan simply minus 30 degree and nothing. Okay, it will evaluate it. So what we are getting simply tan of minus 30 degree. This we can get, of course, this we can get. Now tan of minus 30 degree, its value, what is its value? We know its value is minus one by root three. Okay, because tan 30 degree equals to one by root three, then tan minus 30 degree equals to minus one by root three. So what we are getting? that tan minus 30 degree equals to minus one by root three. Then we can write here that actually tan 330 degree equals to minus one by root three. This we have, so for E the answer is that tan 330 degree equals to minus one by root three. Now F we have, what is F? Now F we can try cos minus 60 degree we have cos minus 60 degree now this we have to evaluate so this can be write in terms of 180 degree of course we can write so we can write it as cos 180 degree now now which number will add in this so that will get minus 60 degree so that is minus 240 degree if we'll add minus 240 degree in 180 degree so we will get minus 60 degree this we can write now cos 180 degree value we know it is zero so it is nearly equals to only cos of minus 240 degree this we can write of course this we can write so what we have cos minus 60 degree equals to cos minus 240 degree okay so if we'll try to evaluate it so what we get cos of minus 3 and uh, minus 240 degree equals to 1 by 2 this we can write so what we can write that actually cos of minus 60 degree equals to also 1 by 2 because if this if this and this is equal and if okay later if this is equals to this then this is also equals to this okay we know this so what we are getting finally cos minus 60 degree equals to 1 by 2 so this answer for second is 1 by 2 now we'll try to solve for c okay so the c is also of same kind so now the question number c we can see here that question number c is okay sorry g is sine minus 150 degree okay g we have sine minus 150 degree this we have of course this we have now if we'll try to evaluate it so how we can evaluate can it be written in this form that sine bracket 180 degree okay 180 degree minus 330 degree can it be written in this form of course it can be written because 180 degree minus 330 degree equals to minus 150 degree of course such we can write because if we add this okay in this then we get this okay such numbers we have to find out so now now we know that sine 180 degree equals to minus one and one minus when minus one into sine okay we'll multiply by sine minus 330 degree so what we are getting sine 330 degree so equals to sine 330 degree 
this we are getting now we know sin 330 degree value is minus 1 by 2 which is equals to minus 1 by 2 we know sin 1, minus 150 degree equals to sin 330 degree which is equals to minus 1 by 2 so, so that we can write that sin minus 150 degree is also equals to minus 1 by 2 so the answer for g is minus 1 by 2 so this is the answer for g now only we have to solve the last question last problem of this question okay that is h so now we'll try to solve h so as we know h is also of same kind so h is okay here for h it is cos minus 120 degree cos of minus 120 degree this we have now can it be written in uh, in this form cos 180 degree now which number will add in this so that will get minus 120 degree which number is that so minus 300 degree okay if we'll add minus 300 degree in 180 degree so that will get minus 120 degree this we have now cos 180 degree value is 0 0 into okay now we'll add 0 so we will get this digit so it is equals to cos of minus 300 degree now we know that cos minus 300 degree value we know that is minus 1 by 2 cos minus 300 degree is minus 1 by 2 so and we know cos minus 120 degree equals to cos minus 300 degree so we can this implies that cos of minus 120 degree okay this digit equals to minus 1 by 2 so this is the final answer that cos minus 120 degree equals to minus 1 by 2 so this is the answer for h so this was my today's topic thank you